A proportion is an equation that says two ratios are equal. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers. Story problems that involve the comparison of two numbers, or ratios, can be solved using proportions. In this case, Jeremy traveled 16 miles in five days. If he travels at the same rate, how many days will it take him to travel 80 miles? Well, in this case, the two units being compared are miles and days. You can see it in the first sentence. He traveled 16 miles in five days. What I like to do is set everything up to start so that it all gets lined up correctly. I know I'm going to use a proportion, so I'm going to put a proportion set up. And since the proportion is two equal ratios, I'm going to put my fraction bars and an equal sign in the middle because proportions are equal ratios. The next thing I'm going to do is put in my units to keep everything lined up. I know I'm comparing miles to days. So I'm going to write that down so I don't lose track. Some people put the units on both sides. That is totally up to you. I would at least put it in one spot so that you could keep track. It's really important to get the miles lined up with the miles and the days lined up with the days. The next thing, let's plug in our information. From the first sentence, we have that 16 miles is compared to 5 days. So we're going to put the 16 next to miles and we're going to put the 5 next to days. On the other side of the proportion, we're going to put what we don't know. What we don't know is how many days. So we really don't know what goes in that spot. Now, on the other hand, we do know that we're going to travel, or Jeremy's going to travel, 80 miles. So we're going to put the 80 next to the miles. Now we need to use what we already know about solving proportions and solve that proportion for the question mark. What I'm trying to do is find out what goes in here. Let's move this over a little bit here. Now in the last module that you did, one of the ways they showed you to solve these is to figure out what is it that you're multiplying by to get the equivalent fraction, because that's exactly what ratios are. In this case, we need to multiply 16 times 5 in order to get 80. Now, if you're wondering where I got that from, I just said to myself, the reverse. How many times does 16 go into 80? That's 5, because 5 times 16 is 80. So I did a little division in my head, so I know that it's going to be a 5. Well, if I multiply the top by 5, I need to multiply the bottom by 5, and that gives me 25. Now, knowing that the question mark is 25, I can now answer the question, and I'm going to answer the question completely. The question, how many days will it take him to travel 80 miles? It will take him 25 days. Now I've answered the question completely. I can move on to the next one. Now on your worksheet, you have another example all written out for you. And you can also click on an optional video if you want to watch that example worked out. Then you have eight problems to try. Make sure that you have a good setup on your paper that shows the proportion, the work, and a complete answer. If you have any questions at all, make sure that you ask an instructor or you ask the tutors for some help. When you're all done, turn your paper in.